Good evening my friends, this is Paul, and welcome back to another one of my video game reviews. So today I accidentally beat Punch-Out for the Wii. And because it was so accidental, this review is kind of going to be maybe a little bit crazier than most of them, but I hope you'll get the gist of it. So for those of you that don't know the history of Little Mac, the five foot seven underdog of the wrestling league, don't remember what it's called, he debuted in Mike Tyson's Punch-Out for the NES, but then due to licensing issues, they had to re-release it in 1990 as Punch-Out featuring Mr. Dream. And then later he got a sequel on the Super Nintendo called Super Punch-Out. Fast forward to 2009, and they released Punch-Out for the Wii, which is basically a combination of the two titles, using basically the Wii's advanced technology to improve upon the presentation, but still preserve what worked and fix what needed to work better. So I only played a little bit of the original Punch-Out on the 3DS Virtual Console, but one of the things that sort of irked me about that game was it was really hard to know when to dodge or block or anything like that because, you know, prompts and stuff weren't exactly great back in the NES era. And I am amazed by how much the Wii version fixed all of that because they did one simple decision. The fighter glows red. So when you're facing your opponent and they glow red, you'll know that you have to either block, duck, and strafe left or right. Now, I've been told that this game can use the Wii Remote and Nunchuck to simulate Little Max gloves, but because the Nunchuck doesn't have Wii Motion Plus, you need to press up on the control stick to simulate the upper punch and then just not do it for the lower punch, which I thought that that was kind of confusing, so I stuck to holding the Wii Remote sideways and using the 1 and 2 buttons and then pressing the control pad to do Little Mac's other actions. And it worked great! For the most part, I felt like if I messed up on a boxing match, the only person to blame was either myself or one of my family members if they walked in my way or <laughs> called me while I was playing it. So, the game is easy to pick up and learn, but very difficult to master. It's the kind of game that looks like it's really easy, but it's not. Because most boxing games are sort of beat-them-ups, but this game is more like a puzzle game. Where, if you're just randomly mashing buttons, that's not really going to get you too far, because you have a heart meter that depletes if you bash against your opponent's gloves or if they hit you. And if that reaches down to zero, you'll turn pink and be rendered unable to move until you're able to successfully dodge an opponent's punch. So you don't want to just wildly flail your arms because that's going to get you killed. What you need to do is study your opponent's patterns and then look for the great opportunity to counterattack or just land a flurry of punches. Now opponents can be knocked down and then they can get right back up depending on how long the referee takes to count. Same thing with you. If you get knocked down, just press the one and two buttons rapidly to climb yourselves back up. But if you get a beating too many times, you'll get a knockout. Same with your opponent. Or if the match drags on for too long, because you can have three rounds, each of which last approximately two minutes, then the winner can be determined by just simply who did good. So sometimes you might be able to get by by just dumb luck and surviving, but you definitely don't want to rely on that method as you further your way into the division. Because once you get to the title bout, Let's just say that the opponents take away a lot more damage and you'll want to be on top of your game. Or be like me, where you accidentally won. Where I didn't... Because I didn't really play the original Punch-Out so much, I was like, ooh, title bout, that means I'll move on to the next circuit. But it's like, the credits roll after that, and I'm like, wait, what? I just beat the game? <laughs> so, if you're a fan of the original Punch-Out, I've been told that most of the fighters from that game return. But now, thanks to the Wii's incredible cel-shaded graphics, which I never thought I'd say that after hating Wind Waker's art style, the game looks and plays absolutely gorgeous. The cutscenes are fantastic. And each fighter even gets a little montage of where they're from and a little bit of their backstory. And they even hired actors that were from each of the regions the fighters were from to voice them. And so as a result, you'll get fighters that speak in a variety of languages. And even in the boxing ring, they'll talk throughout the match. And I thought that was kind of cool. I especially like Doc Lewis, who, he was in the original Punch-Out, but now he speaks. And I just love the way he talks. But 
Some people might be a little bit offended that the game is not very culture friendly. Like, they tend to take the stereotype of that fighter's region and really go all out with it. Like, you know, the Canadian guy, um, you can see root beer spilling from him and the the French guy, you see croissants rolling around his head when he gets knocked out. Stuff like that. So, if you're one of those people that's easily offended by cultural jokes, this is probably not the game to play. But if you like games that involve memorization and strategic thinking of how you're going to attack instead of just mindlessly button mashing, this is definitely a game I'd recommend picking up, especially because the game is super forgiving with regards to the difficulty level. Unlike the NES version, you do not have to start the circuit all over again, you just have to restart the match. But I found that it was easy enough to restart from the pause menu if I started taking too many hits, because in my opinion, the knockout screen just took way too long, and that was a major problem I have with any game, is if they drag out the game overs. But thankfully, Doc Lewis always gives encouraging words to make sure that you don't feel too bad about losing. So the game is rather short. There's only three circuits, but there's a lot of replay value by trying to unlock every song in the gallery or the multiplayer mode. There's also balance board support, but I've never owned a balance board, so I couldn't test that feature. And then if you're having a lot of trouble with the fighters, you can also face off against them in a never-die mode so that you can hone your skills. So there's a lot to like here. And even though it may seem like just a boxing experience, like to my knowledge, I don't believe there are any mini-games that you can play, so it's really just you in the boxing ring. But if there's one thing this game really succeeds at, apart from its amazing graphics and decent music, it's the sense of scale. Like, that was one thing the Super Nintendo version boasted over the NES version was you had these really gigantic opponents. Like, your final opponent is 6 foot 5, and considering that Little Mac's only 5 foot 7, that's a big difference. And you really feel that. You truly feel like you're the underdog here, and there's no way you can take down these big bad guys, but then you make your way up the ranks, and you just feel like such a champion. I have not had that kind of exhilaration since playing Banjo-Kazooie. And that was back in the Nintendo 64 days. So, in case you're wondering, well, Paul, how do I find that game now, now that the Wii U is about to go um, out of uh, retail? Well, I presume the eShop is still going to be up because of Breath of the Wild's DLC, so you can easily buy it off of the Wii U eShop for 20 bucks, like I did. I don't think there's any difference from the disc Wii version. But the Wii U can play... Wii games, so you can also pick it up there, I presume. So yeah, the game is reasonably priced, and if you haven't checked it out, what are you waiting for? Anyway, thank you for listening to my shorter-than-usual review on one of the best fighting games ever made, and one of the only ones I've ever played. So let me know what other reviews you want me to do in the future. Keep in mind, I only review Nintendo games, and only if I've beaten them. And until then, keep the faith, stay epic, and God bless. Bye.